Hello, and welcome to another NetApp Cloud video for OnCommand Cloud Manager and NetApp Cloud ONTAP for AWS. In this video, we're going to discuss your AWS networking, uh, specifically your AWS VPC, a subnet, as well as a security group to use when deploying your OnCommand Cloud Manager system. From our Amazon console, we can go ahead and click on VPC to get started. And this is where you get to your VPC dashboard. You can come and look at your other virtual private clouds, the networks, the gateways, and so on. Right now, I just want to start and create a new one. So I'm going to use the wizard. I like using the wizard because it will help set up the uh, appropriate gateways and routes uh, and help guide me through the whole process. So here, I can select many different things. Uh, I am simply going to select a VPC with a single subnet. And you can supply the sitter block range to use a name for the virtual private cloud. I'll just select Cloud Manager as my name. Uh, public subnet, this is fine. I'll just check the defaults. Availability zone, you can select the availability zone if you choose. Uh, I'm going to let Amazon choose for me. And then you can also give a name for the subnet. Now, if you're going to use uh, multiple subnets within this VPC, maybe you want to identify which one it is for the different groups. I'm just going to say Cloud Manager 1. And then if you want to uh, identify uh, DNS resolution and hardware tenancy. I do want DNS resolution. I don't need hardware tenancy. And I'm going to click on Create. My VPC has been created. Now I can launch instances into the subnet if I want. I click on OK. I can highlight and select my VPC to get the additional information. And now I should also create a security group. I've got several security groups, but again, I'm going to click on Create a Security Group. I'll give a name tag. Again, I'll do Cloud Manager 1. I can provide a description and identify the VPC it should be associated with. This is the VPC we just created. So I'm going to select Cloud Manager and yes, Create. Now that I've created that, it pro throws me into where I can create the different rules for this security group, in round, inbound or outbound rules. Inbound rules, I don't have any yet, so I need to create some. Outbound rules are wide open. This is where from my virtual private cloud, I want to be able to communicate out uh, with anything. I'm going to leave that for now because that's, uh, that's fine for, for an initial test. Uh, this will have to be hardened later on, uh, depending upon how you want to use the system. Inbound rules though, this will prevent communication from coming in. This is effectively your firewall. So I want to edit these. I want to add in different rules. I can add in for all TPCP, UDP, ICMP, all traffic. If you want to just get started very quickly, you can just identify all traffic, 0, 0, 0, 0, slash, 0, and then add. That will actually enable everybody to see you. Uh, that is not secure. It's also not recommended. It will get you up and going quickly. However, you might want to just add in certain rules. So here, protocol, it could be 80 um, as the port range, and then again, 0, 0, 0, 0, to identify everyone can come in over port 80. Again, you may want to identify the exact IP address or IP or the sitter block. I'm going to add in another rule where I want to allow RDP to this uh, system. And also, if I want to uh, uh, enable SSH, I'll also add in SSL, and then I need to save. That concludes this video. Please reference our additional on-command cloud manager and NetApp Cloud ONTAP videos for more guidance. We hope you found this helpful, and have a great day.